Hi everyone, it's been a long time since I've done a video, but uh, I just wanted to share something that happened to me last night. Something quite unusual, which uh, I think I thought I'd just share with, with people out there. Uh, not to scare people, but to just try and encourage people really. So just bear with me if this story gets a little bit frightening. Uh, so I was trying to get to sleep last night and the the hours were just passing on, you know, it was like my goodness, it's it's 12 o'clock, it's 1 o'clock, it's coming up at 2 o'clock. And I couldn't sleep and it was just horrendous. And I had to be up early as well this morning to do something. I mean, you can see the packs of it if my eyes look terrible. But um, yeah, so plenty of coffee to keep me going today. More than what I would normally have. So yeah, um, I must have nodded off or, or, or went into some sort of unconscious state. And then... I became conscious, but sort of almost trapped between worlds, as it were. I was aware that I was in my bed and in my bedroom. And I looked at the chest of drawers, which is at the side of the bed, and all the drawers were pulled out, which is unusual. I would never, ever leave a chest of drawers like that, especially when I'm settling down to, to bed. So that was the first weird thing. And... I became aware of a presence hovering above me about three feet and it was trying to choke me and I was trying to speak and trying to breathe and I was definitely aware of this evil presence above me and at the same time as well I uh, thought what I could hear was my deceased mother downstairs in the house acting all er erratically and uh, shouting and it was just really bizarre uh, really really bizarre and uh, quite frightening really <clears throat> so anyway i i mustered up some strength and and managed to say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i think i said that about two or three times and then this thing although it wasn't directly on me it was as i say it was above me it still had influence over me to, to some degree but and it was choking me but it was only when I managed to muster up the words in the name of Jesus which was hard to do as well I might add because this thing had a grip of me that's when I felt I had the upper hand and this thing was res res resisted somehow by that uh, and it, it fled and it was at around about this point that I was aware that the chest of drawers was was orderly again all the drawers were back in place and there was no noise coming from downstairs so yeah quite a scary story but it it's just highlighted to me and reminded me of the spiritual battle that we're in as christians especially those of us who are christians uh, but everyone as well um i mean non-believers experience these terrible things called the night terrors uh, sleep paralysis Christians would identify it as a demonic attack uh, it's it's so strange because you sort of you are in between worlds you sort of you're you're very much aware and conscious but nothing seems right I mean this is the kind of experience as well that people describe who have a alien abduction kind of uh, encounters where they meet entities basically just demons masquerading as aliens or people have encounters with ghosts or other presences such as I experienced last night which I was which I would identify as an evil spirit have so um so yeah you know it's encouraging to remember uh, whether you're a Christian or a non-Christian that if you have these experiences, it's the name of Jesus that repels these things. Uh, I mean, there's been a study done, in fact, of uh, so-called uh, alien abductees who have uh, found that when they've uh, said the name of Jesus over these encounters that they have, that the, the, the presence has fled, or the being has fled. So that's quite interesting but ultimately uh, although i believe uh, calling upon the name of jesus is beneficial to non-christians and christians alike it because there's power in the name of jesus J jesus is the name that is above every name and the bible tells us 
that uh, Jesus at the cross destroyed and stripped all principalities and powers of their authority. That um, you know, there's power in that name, but al although that's the case, uh, ultimately, you know, you need to have trust in the person who bears that name, proper trust. And don't get me wrong, I think some non-believers do when they hear about this. They do have some trust in Jesus when they do that. But ultimately, the, the ultimate protection that you can have is really putting your trust in Jesus and really putting your faith in him, being born again, being a, a true Christian. And the, the Bible tells us that we can draw close to God and he will draw close to us and that we can then resist the devil and he will flee from us, it says in James chapter 4. So we draw close to God first, and he will draw close to us. Then we're able to resist the devil or any of his minions, and they will flee. Okay, folks, I'll leave it at that. Hopefully you find that story interesting. It's something that hasn't happened to me for a long time. Some of you who might know me will know that I've come from an occult background and I grappled a lot with demons and spirits in the early days. There was a real war going on inside me and around me uh, back in the early years, back in the the uh, late 80s, early 90s, really struggled a lot. But yeah, um, don't really encounter that kind of thing much these days. It has happened over the years on and off. But it hasn't happened for quite a long time. So I actually feel quite encouraged by it, really. Uh, because it, it's shown me and reminded me that the power that is in the name of Jesus and the authority in trusting in him, in his name, in his person. And as a result of what he's done and who he is, we have the ability to resist these evil forces. All right, folks. Hopefully see you again sometime soon. Take care and God bless.